Hey everyone, welcome to CP Master and today we are going to see the implementation of uh, miller Rabin algorithm in C++. So here we go. Uh, this is our main function which takes the input n as a number or n is long unsigned long long. This is it. unsigned long long and this is a function miller Rabin function which says in n is prime or not and this is a function miller raven function takes the input n and check for base uh, trivial case if n is less than 4 if it is not not less than 4 then move forward and now we break the n minus 1 to the exponent of 2 and the composite factor of n minus 1 here s represents the power of 2 and d represents the odd composite factor of n minus 1 and we keep break down the one and here is a list of bases we check for one by one for all the bases if check composite function says that n is not prime for base a that means it is composite so we should return false and one by one we check for all cases if it says for all the bases that n is prime then we should return true and here is one more case that if n is same as the base then it is prime so here is the function check composite function which finds e to the power d mod n and if x is 1 or n minus 1 that means n is prime for base a if it is not same as 1 or n minus 1 then we check for other factors of uh, a and if uh, and one by one we multiply the x that means for check for other factors if x is equal to n minus 1 that means uh, our number is prime not composite so we return false that means is it is not composite and after all we didn't get any verdict like this x is equal to n minus 1 that means it is not prime so we say it is composite so it's a function power function which finds e to the power d mod n using binary exponentiation so here's a function binary exponential part and this mul function multiplies the two numbers a and p mod under modulo mod and this prevents the overflow and using this technique i prevent the overflow and keep modulo under control so this is it miller function check for first base case then breaks down the n minus 1 to the exponent 2 and odd factor of n minus 1 then check for all, all base cases and if n is prime for all the bases and then we say it is prime and this is the check function which finds first e to the power d and modulo n and if x is equal to 1 or n minus 1 that means that means it is prime for base a if it is not then check for other factors and if it says the x is n minus 1 that means it is prime not composite so compositeness false and here's a binary exponentiation and here's the multiplication part of a and b under modulo n yeah under modulo n this is the part under modulo n and here's the question you should try it and submit so this is it
थैंक यू सो मच एंड सी यू लेटर